Howdy there, Massive UX. Today, in this episode, we're going to be reviewing House of Kings, a unique urban a unique urban take on fashion. I found this posting for a, uh, re requesting a review on Reddit. And so let's just go ahead and jump into it and uh, see what we can, what we can uh, offer the creator. So after I did a bit of exploring before even starting this recording, because honestly, there's so much. Um, so I have a ton of notes. I'm going to try to cover them in a, in a clear fashion. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that just because I have so much to say, but I also, I want it to be as valuable as possible. Um, first, let me say, I, I chose your, your site and your products because I think you do have something really special here. Um, after getting really digging into it and looking at some of your product and your designs, I find them really interesting. Um, I can see the evolution of your style and your capabilities over time. Whenever I start scrolling back and going through some of your old product and seeing some of your newer products. And I think that's something that we'll touch on about curating and, uh, and even removing some of maybe some of the, the not as strong pieces or pieces from the past that aren't selling or aren't working anymore. So, but first let's just, let's start talking about your website specifically. Um, that's my specialty. Your specialty is fashion. So let's talk about what you can do to make your website more successful for your for the House of Kings business and products. Um, so I think your biggest issue and your your biggest win is organization. So whenever I get here, there's I see, so my first, my first point of view is I see a big old image block. That's a image slider that doesn't really say anything. It has some, some photos in it, but you don't really even see your product much in it. So here's HOK. You can kind of see that you see a graphic right here on a hoodie. Can't even tell what's on that orange sweatshirt. You see some text and you see a, just a big old shop now button. Now you're the first thing you're telling people here is shop now just buy my stuff but you haven't really proven why they should even care or what sets house of kings apart or what your unique value proposition is um, or what your story is that's what you're really talking about throughout your website is your story and who and what house of kings stands for so this is what i want to see um, I, I cover, I say a lot of the same things in all my videos because a lot of it is very true across the board for e-commerce sites. So let's just start at the top and start going down a little bit. So uh, I see you have an alert bar set up. That's great. But what you want an alert bar to be for is something temporary and um, that, that people want need to act on right now. So it's really not important at all. I would turn this off and not even use it right now or if you are, uh, pop it up and say, you, you don't want it to be for a join our mailing list to get something. You want uh, an alert bar to be for, um, hey, it's uh, end of July sale. You have, you know, you have until the end of July, get 10% off with this coupon code or get 10% off the, uh, our, our latest Blood of Medusa collection, that sort of thing. So use the alert bar sparingly and only whenever you're promoting something um, that's typically time-based. So that's what I would recommend there. And also it, 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 it fades in because it is black. You don't want it to be obnoxious, but you want it to pop out whenever people do, whenever it is there. So here's your, you have like a secondary bar up here. It, I know this is all part of the theme. I think you could have, you, you need a different, theme layout, at least on this homepage. Um, so I don't know if this, the theme that you're using has other options for layout, but the sidebar nav, it would be a lot better if you have a top level nav. And maybe I can pop up an example really quick to show you. Uh, so let's talk about 
your entire header and navigation. Um, I, if possible, I would just turn off search. You don't really need search. People aren't going to be, probably are not using it at all. But most of the time, they're not even going to know what to search for unless they're, they just happen to search for um, shipping instructions or how to contact or something like that. But most likely, they're going to go look in the footer or somewhere else for that. You don't need sign up and log in. People are not most likely not going to be creating accounts on your site. So these are all just distractions. Card is fine. I don't know why there's a checkout link. I've never really seen that. I would get rid of that. You don't need a checkout link. Cart is all you need. Um, re, redoing your the layout for all of your navigation and header um, should help that. So this text right here is confusing. It's just not the right place for it. So get rid of this. Uh, logo is great. I, it's really interesting. It's simple. Uh, you have the HOK, you have a, a crown, which is part of your entire branding. And then you have this dripping liquid. So I don't know if this is supposed to be blood from, from uh, intensity and, and hard work, or if it's ink, because you're selling a lot of graphical tees. It's kind of like screen printing. It's kind of a mix. You can kind of interpret it however you like. And I like that. I don't really like this vertical line between these two. I, it just doesn't really do anything for me. It doesn't really add anything to your logo either. Also, I, I could see, I think what you probably would want to do here is actually spell out House of Kings. So triple stack it, maybe I'd have to experiment with it. House of Kings. Um, you probably have a, a, a that design somewhere else already. Uh, but you really want to put that brand name right there so people immediately read it. So I do want, so let's talk about your nav here. So I do want your nav to be horizontal and up here in the header. Um, let me just pop open one of my stores really quick as an example. So you can see, even though I have a fairly thick, big header, uh, I still keep it super simple. So I have cart over here, I have products, and I have FAQs. I My store, I don't really do a whole lot with it anymore, but um, that what you need, see, the, this is just too, way too much and not really useful. So what you, you need to show is collections um, and about about you and about the business and maybe even a lookbook. So what I would I want to see is, you know, you have your logo and then you have a horizontal bar either all in one or stacked below and it just says products, about, and lookbook. And get like you don't need any of this kind of stuff. Terms of service, privacy policy, refund policy, extras. You don't want any of that to distract from the core of your of your business, which is your product. Uh, those can all go somewhere else, mostly in the footer, and we'll we'll touch on that in a little bit. So let's touch on social. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine social buttons. One is an RSS feed. Get rid of most of these. What are your core social networks that are providing value to your business? I popped open all of these just to take a look. Instagram, you're doing really good on Instagram, and that's going to be important. Facebook, uh, I think you're doing pretty good on Facebook, but I could see that you, you're really going to want to be using Facebook and Instagram both with um, with your business. So you're doing pretty dang good. You're almost at 7,000 followers. Uh, you have 41 posts. I mean, that's pretty astounding, just 41 posts and almost 7,000 fo followers. Um, I haven't really gotten too into it. it. looks like you're getting a lot of hearts, some comments. You know, I think talking about how to use Instagram and, and your posts and stuff, that's something else. Um, but get rid of most of these. Unless it's all, all of your social links need to be relevant to your business and your products. So I know you're linking out to Tumblr and your personal Twitter. Don't link out to your personal Twitter here. 
You can do that on the about section where you, where you introduce yourself. Um, YouTube, you probably don't need a link out there either just because most of your videos are prom promo videos and you are um, embedding those in your website. So I would, I would just go ahead and I would get rid of all of those. You don't need an RSS feed. Nobody's doing RSS feeds. You don't need a Tumblr or a personal Snapchat. Get rid of all of those. Um, okay, so I think that gives you plenty to do with the header and the navigation and how to rearrange that stuff. So what I wanna see whenever I first land on the page, clean up your entire header. It, it can be a lot shorter as well. Your nav's up here, your header's up here. I wanna see a big old fat hero section. So what we call the hero section is this first section that you see whenever you land on a page. So when you pop over here, you see this big old bright pink hero image with these people and some taglines. And that's what I wanna see for you. I mean, you have, your, your product is so visually focused, it's, it's fashion and it's design. And so that's what you really wanna show people right off the bat. Images are fine. I think you could really create a killer background video, um, a super cut of just different shots of people. Um, make, make sure it's really well lit whenever you make the, take these shots and interesting backgrounds. Like that's what kind of, I, 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 this one I don't like at all because of the background. If you look in the background, look, there's a phone charger plug and some batteries. That's not a cool background. This is better. Um, I can't tell what that background is, but that that's what you want. Like you don't want something where you, you realize, oh, those are their cell batteries. Um, so I think you can do, you can create a really freaking cool video where you're showing off bam, 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 different views of people wearing your product. Um, and then you wanna put something more compelling like for your tagline. You could have like a big tagline, a little tagline and a button. So maybe you're, you're going general for your brand. So you're like, live like a king. Um, or some, I know I read some other stuff about that you wrote on the about page. So something like that, or maybe you're promoting something specific like your Boyd of Medusa line, new collection. So Boyd of Medusa, you know, like, and then the button, instead of saying like shop now, like shop Boyd of Medusa or see the Boyd of Medusa collection, um, that sort of thing. So what I wanna see that full width, side to side, uh, browser, full browser width all the way across, background video, excellent, text and button um don't worry about don't do slideshow just do like one freaking awesome background image or one awesome super cut video below that so i think this is gonna this is where we're gonna let's talk about um organization so shopify provides the concept of collections and collections contain a lot of products so there are two ways to think about this. You could think about it like what you have here, collection list, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies, accessories, bottoms. And while that is technically true, that's a very boring way to look at your products in the fashion world. Um, the other way you could think about it is collections, you know, which is what you talk about a lot is your blood of Medusa collection. Um, that's the only one I know off the top of my head. What, what are some of the other ones? Bota Medusa, Bota Medusa, Royal Sports, that Pharaoh, maybe to the moon. So that's what I want you to, to think of as collections. Uh, your collection, Bota Medusa, may contain shirts, but it also may contain socks or accessories or bottoms or whatever. But think of Bota Medusa as a collection. Think of to the moon as a collection and promote it that way. That's so much more interesting than shirts, sweatshirts, accessories, and bottoms. We're not Amazon. We're not Kmart. You, this is a this is a high end fashion brand that you have created and that you're promoting. You're not selling shirts. You're not selling bottoms. You're selling unique collections of art. Um, so think of it that way. So I want you know, like I said, I want to see a big old fat hero video. And then below that, scratch all this, four is way too many for anything, put two blocks, maybe three. So uh, 
And if, if you were like calling out Blood of Medusa, I mean, you could do it here again as well. Like collection block, Blood of Medusa, collection block, something, another collection that's really popular or recent. So maybe it's um, to the moon or maybe it's one of the other ones. Get rid of this subscribe promotion thing. If you were going to put anything like that, it needs to be way down at the footer. Um, okay. Yeah, get rid of that. Also, really quick, since we're talking about mailing lists and that's what's up here, don't put quotes around, join our mailing list. That is odd. Um, okay, House of Kings summer video. I know I watched part of this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I did watch a few of your videos and I, 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 halfway like them i like them because I, I get to see some cool stuff there's some music and whatnot but it, i feel like there's something also missing like but i'm not exactly sure what it is um continue on how you, how you are with your videos for now let's just talk about the website stuff um okay so we talk about hero talk about collections Th there's way too much content down here and you're just like Okay, let's turn on, let's show products, and then let's show 50. Like, it's showing way too many. And then updates, and then lookbooks, and then that's it. And then footer. Like, that's way too much. Cut out all this stuff. None of this matters. Um, I probably wouldn't even show products at this point. Maybe have, like, a video at, you know, after this stuff. Uh, and then you can like, it just, everything needs to breathe more. You need more space. That might be like a theme thing that you can work with to, to add more white space in between these or color band it or something else where you're kind of like creating some natural breathing room and breaks in between each of these sections. Um, but get rid of probably all of these featured items. Um, if, if you are going to have a section that's for featured items, you need to limit it to three to seven at most. And uh, that could be that could be grid or it could be, I know I, I think some themes offer something like this, where you can scroll through a number of products. So something like that would be better than taking out this much real estate with just grid on grid on grid, a very uh, disparate looking products um latest updates okay i'm going to try to get into your blog and your workbook in just a moment because that is important and prominent how you're using it right now okay really quick let's jump back to the top okay so under extra i notice you have our story workbooks live streaming events the weekly i don't remember what the weekly was Live streaming looked like you're you're showing your Twitch live stream stuff. Get rid of that because it has unless it's has to do with this product, I probably still wouldn't even put it in. But I'm pretty sure it's you playing video games. Events it looked like you're hosting game nights or something like that. Get rid of that. Uh, the weekly I don't remember what that was. Um, our story about lookbooks. Okay, so can, do what I said earlier about uh, products about and um, lookbook for your nav. All this other stuff is going to be down here in the footer. Look, you already have a, a sign up for your for your email right here. This is the place you want to put that. Not not anywhere else up top or else it's like a full band at the bottom. Um, I don't I don't even have that on mine. Oh, yeah, I do. Here it is right there. It's just not that important. People probably are not even you clicking it and signing up, that's my guess, but I could be wrong. Um, if you can cut this down to only two or three columns at most, and then clean up all these links. So you have duplicate links here. You have about and about, you have contact us and contact us. You have, so here you just, you wanna have, in the footer you wanna have these tertiary things that people need to find occasionally, but you don't really care about. Terms of service, privacy, returns, contact. Keep that clear. Don't call it resources. Don't call it links. Um, so, make, like, if you need to title them, then 
call this H O K and then put it, and then you could put collections, um, lookbook, blog, and about that kind of thing. And then over here you could you could do something like um, I don't know something else, not get in touch, but something else, and then have contact us. Basically these four right here: contact us, returns, privacy. Uh, this indifferent. If you really are accepting this many payment methods, I guess that's fine. I don't really see the value in those most of the time. Um, Shopify secure, I see that under there, but it's not really visible because of your messenger chat. You got to do something about these chats. So either use a chat or don't, or I, I would get rid of this rewards thing. I don't, it's probably not generating anything for you is my guess. So I would just say, get rid of it. Messenger chat is okay. I, I, I personally, I don't, I've never used messenger chat myself. If you're going to have a chat or a support of some sort, I would probably just get like one of those general chat widgets that, um, you can, you can use and it goes and it sends it to the back end of your website or something like that. Instead of using Facebook messenger, that would be my recommendation. Um, but you know, you know best and you may have seen it, you know, maybe people are using it. Um, okay, let's continue on. Let's jump over to about really quickly because this is really key as well. People want to know your story. They want to know what the brand stands for and why they should give a dang. Um, <clears throat> so you have a number of things here. You have history, you have a video, you have our story, you have a picture of a printing press, you have some other text, you have another video, you have something about sweatshops, and you have something about good design, and then some pictures, and then a weird looking form. That's not my phone number, so don't call that. Um, one, I'll just go and say here, I would get rid of the comment section for everything, because I saw comments on your blog and stuff, which I hope to jump to in just a moment, and they're just not really useful. Um, people are saying pretty crappy stuff on it too, so I'd probably just get rid of comments, unless you're just getting good comments, or else you need to curate comments. But on a page like this, you don't need comments at all. Blog post, a little bit different. Um, about So if you could, I, I, I would either just call, change the URL for this to either just about, or HOS or house. Yeah, I would just about or HOS, just keep it that simple. Um, put some, start off with some text. Um, I see, I watched your video. Which one was this? This one. It was pretty good. I like some of the, these clothing lines that I see. In general, I like what you're going for as far as like, the, um, the clothing style that you're going for, the urban aspect of it, fashion, high-end fashion, expressive, interesting, expressive, practical. Um, this is good too. I, the, I, I would put this down, kind of stuff down at the bottom like that you're saying, sweatshop, child free labor, child labor free. This is, it's worded a little oddly. So like whenever I first glance at it, it I read like sweatshop and child labor. And it makes me think of that in a bad way. Um, so it needs to be changed a little bit. Anytime that you're writing long form text, you want it to be left left aligned, left justified, not centered. So definitely do that everywhere. Make sure it's left centered. Get rid of anything like this. Uh, you don't need to put quotes around the crown. I know this is kind of getting kind of nitpicky. Um, you could do it in italics or something like that. If you need to emphasize something, italics are better than quotes or even, and better than bolding. Um, da, 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 okay. But definitely, you know, tell me, tell me about the brand. Tell me about your mission statement. Tell me about you. Like, I don't, I still don't know who you are. The only way I, reason I, I think I know your name is because I went to your Twitter account. And so I think your name is, do, 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 Joe Wallace. Um, so tell me more about Joe Wallace and how you got into this. Um, put a big old 
beautiful photo of your friendly face and your name. This is, this is where you add a link to your personal Twitter account or even your Twitch account, if that's what you would like to do. Um, and then give, give all of this some space because you're doing multiple, you're talking about multiple things on this single page. The logo, this just seems like it's just stuck down here. Like, so tell us more about it. Tell us how the, the concept and the, the thought behind the logo of, of why did you, how did you come up with House of Kings uh, as a name? And how did you, why did you choose a crown? And what is this liquid stuff? Um, <clears throat> so talk about those. The one thing that I think it's a little bit overdone that I saw in some of your videos and some of your products is, is just like the concept of wealth and money. It's just, it doesn't seem to go with, um, the design and the aesthetic and stuff that you're going for elsewhere. You're talking about being a king and like um, believing in yourself and growing and, and being strong. But wealth, wealth is a real thing. Wealth brings about is part of success in some ways, but wealth and money and cash, there's, there's another aspect of it as well. And I, I don't think it speaks to, to your brand really. So that, that was like, I think I saw I mean, maybe some photos in the lookbook and then maybe you said something about money. I don't remember that just kind of like, kind of made me go, eh. Um, so just think about that. Um, okay, <sighs> let's jump over to blog and then lookbook, blog. Uh, okay, so blog, your blog should be about your business. So what's going on with your business? What's new? What's upcoming? What do people need to know about? Um, <clears throat> so blog. So let's, let's see my notes. I said blog should only be about House of Kings. Uh, talk about new collection. Talk about retired collections. Talk about events that are upcoming. Talk about events after they happen and put in photos of them. So what I'm not, what, what's confusing me is when I'm going through your blog is uh, one, the, just the, the, the overall layout and design, how this is like, I see blog is a lowercase posted by, okay, this really isn't that important in your case. Well, it might be for events or collections. I can cancel that. This is the title. It's kind of tiny. Then you have like a image that's like part of the way across, like it's not big enough to across the whole page and then this one's not quite either and so all the, the images are different sizes and there's like a little bit of description text <clears throat> so just like the design overall and the is is a little off um but then i just can't quite understand what the blog is about because featured talent gorilla sage is somebody uh talent story time i got married to a stranger queen tv weird big old blank space uh, Herb Alexander's Spirited Away official video. So uh, you're putting in videos that you like, I guess, of somebody. I You need to keep it about House of Kings. So if House of Kings is featured in this video somehow, if he's wearing your t-shirt, then say House of Kings t-shirt featured in Herb Alexander's Spirited Away video. And, and then you can write about it on the page and put in the video. Um, but if it's not about House of Kings, don't put it in here. If it's something that you, if, if you like Herb Alexander, I don't, I don't know who this is offhand. Um, that's awesome. But unless it's related to House of Kings, don't put it in your blog because it's not adding any real value. And then you got to write about, write more about it. So Herb Alexander's, so I don't know anything about this Herb Alexander song or what this means. So tell us what you like about it. Tell us why it's here. Uh, tags, keep your tags reserved like i noticed on a couple of posts maybe it was lookbooks or maybe it was blog posts you had like a, a 30 tags on something it's just way too many um let's see da, da, da. work on your formatting like i guess this is all centered left we'll align it this might be auto posted from instagram or something i don't know because it's oddly formatted and it looks like it's supposed to have line breaks but it doesn't um <clears throat> Okay, so I, I think that that's, I think you get what I'm saying about the blog stuff. Uh, it just needs to be focused, clear. You need to use the same sizing for all the photos. Like this is the right kind of size where it's full width across that, that column, but it's not too tall. This is too tall. These are just too small. 
Um, I notice on all of your pages. Okay, so this is just read more. Okay, so let's go over to workbooks. The pagination at the bottom, whenever you have uh, multiple pages of content, is like almost impossible to see. And I know that's a theme thing, so either figure out how to change that in a theme, or you might need to write some custom styles to change that. <coughs> so I have the same comment for your lookbook. Lookbook for a, for a fashion brand is like one of the most important aspects. So same comment about for your lookbook as your blog. Like it needs to be very focused on House of Cards. I mean, <laughs> sorry, House of Kings and uh, showcasing your product. Um, so I don't know who these people are. China Star, I don't know who that is. Spring Lookbook featuring Tyler. Okay, so like, these are pretty good because she's wearing your product. Um, let me see what I wrote about oh, Lookbook. Lookbook, Lookbook. Okay, Lookbook, I said, uh, I want to, you know, photo shoots. I want to see more photo shoots with people. Um, do do more interesting stuff with your with your models and and your background shots so like okay she's standing in front of three white trucks why i don't know whenever i'm scrolling through here i'm seeing the same shot over and over like this is the same exact shot except that these two these two are the same shot this one's slightly different and these two are like grayed out in a not so good looking way and then that's the same shot right there too so why am i seeing only like three shots of that are all the same just repeated um Man, come on, like, get creative. This is where you really get to showcase your product. This is a girl standing wearing uh, a sports shirt in front of a brick wall, you know, or a brick column. Get creative. This is where you really get to make your product shine. This is almost better. Like, you you kind of got a, uh, an interesting er background. It's got some pop of color. Um, <clears throat> this is almost, this is better as well. Uh, so just, you know, like look around for examples. These are the same photos right here. One of the best brands, uh, fashion brands, product brands I know is Ugg Monk. So go take a look at Ugg Monk and see how, honestly, go see how he lays out his homepage, his collections, his products. Uh, and then let's go find his lookbook. Journal, our story, his story. Let's go look at our, his story on here. I didn't think of this in Ugg Monk until just now. Like, he does a really good job breaking it down. He does stuff where he wants to give back to people in need. Uh, so go check that out. Where would his lookbook be? Journal objects? I don't know. I know I've seen his lookbook before but I can't find it right now. Well, go look around there, see what he does for his uh, lookbook photography. <clears throat> so this is where I'm talking about the comments on your lookbook. People are saying some not good things in some of them. And so I'd rather not see that. I'd rather the comments be just completely turned off. The other thing you, you need to do is link to your the products. Like you're not actually even linking to your own products from the lookbook. So let's say somebody really likes this shirt. How do they, now Now it's up to them, you're putting the responsibility on them to go search through your catalog and find that shirt. Put a link to it right here. That's what you need to do. And I mean, they'll jump straight over there if they like it. Um, lookbooks. So this one with the with Tyler P.K. Brown, I didn't even, I, uh, yeah, I looked through it. I, I don't even know if that's like a product that you're selling. I guess if, it link, if you link to it, then maybe I would understand Oh, it does have that little crown on it. Okay. See, I don't see the crown. I just see it right there, barely. And that's just because I happen to see another yellow crown somewhere else. But I don't see the crown anywhere else. Like, I don't know. I think it's just a red crushed velvet shirt or something. I have no idea. <coughs> okay, so I think that's plenty for your lookbook stuff. Um... I want to wrap this up, but I, I do want to look at your products really quick because <laughs> obviously that's important. Uh, shop. So, like I said, I want to see like 
in your nav, either products or collections or something. I want a better way to navigate to see what you have. Like all these these subsets to be able to look at stuff is just it's too much. Um, <clears throat> whenever I get to this view where I just see tons and tons of grid stuff, it just looks boring to me because it, it's like I'm on any other like I'm on Kmart's clothing section. Whereas I know, like, I, I see um, in other ones, I, it's a lot more interesting looking. And I think if, if you really work on your collection groupings and showing off collections of Blood of Medusa, it's going to be a lot more interesting where people see that consistency for and that theme all together. Um, you can also clean up, like, all of this design, like you don't need to put House of Kings. We, we know it's House of Kings. Um, <coughs> Blood of Medusa worthy short sleeve unisex t-shirt. I, I, you could work on your titles maybe just, I mean, I don't know. It's descriptive at least. Um, but I, I, re like, I really like the Blood of Medusa collection. This, this stuff is really interesting. Whenever I got up close and looked at the, the zoomed in versions, I don't quite understand the UK and the US flag. Uh, maybe there's more of a story behind that and I just need to, need to hear that or read it somewhere or, or have you talk about it. Um, but I mean, that's a really cool collection. Uh, some of these are really cool too. Uh, again, I can't even find this pagination until, unless I really look. Some of these older ones, I think these are older um, I'm not as crazy about, and I think maybe you could start to cull some of your older collections or products that aren't selling. Like this money one, I, I know I harped on the money thing already, but it just didn't really speak to me or speak about your brand. Crown season, um, these, cool, okay. I don't know what that says, a New York company. Oh, House of Kings, of course. <clears throat> So some of the, some of the older ones, I think these are older, just not quite as as up to par as your newer collections. What I think you could also do, because collections are seasonal in a lot of ways in fashion, is you can retire collections, and so that's what you can write about in a blog in a blog post. Is like, hey, you know, the old um, to the moon collection is being retired good run, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That way you, you, you have that ability to create some um, time blocking on, on product availability and uh, scarcity. <coughs> and if it really was super popular, you could always bring it back. So maybe you do a revamp, and like say to the moon, well, you know, it's a few years old by now but it was really popular and people are still asking about it, even though you've retired it already. Well, maybe you do a revamp and you bring, you, you do a second round of to the moon. You sell those products, you're capturing emails, you hit your old audience, you hit your, your new audience, the audience that you've been growing, you hit your old customers. You say, Hey, we're bringing back to the moon because by popular demand, that's one way that you're going to, you're going to be able to really capture their interest and sell a lot more product. Um, I want to see, let's jump into this one, maybe. Let's see, so blah, blah, blah. I really want to see real life photography um, whenever I'm looking at the products. So I know these are uh, models on t-shirts so that you can pick the color and, and that sort of thing. Um, but I, 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 that's what you really need to show. You need to show real life models as well. I know you have that for, for a number of products. Um, Honestly, I'm not even going to get into some of the UX stuff for what you could do for all of these. Check out Securely With, Doesn't Say Anything, This Button. You could check out some of my other videos. Get rid of these social buttons. Nobody ever clicks them. You could check out some of my other videos if you want to, to, to hear a little bit more about what you can do specifically on product pages. Um, definitely be careful what colors you pick. These all look fine. I, I saw some other products and, and designs and maybe they didn't look as good on the colors that you offered. 
um, usually like it was a black graphic on a black tee and it didn't really quite work like like this example for these backs like I like this front I don't really like this back um, it might just be the sizing it's partly the sizing it's partly this strange I can like there's such a strong rectangle created here um, like the front I love it I would wear that the back uh, that that would that kind of turns me off to even considering buying it personally, but that's just me. Um, let's see. I mentioned I want to see real life photos of people wearing them. Honestly, let's just go look at this one because this is one of my favorite shirts. Yeah, I, I mean I love that. See, this is what you need on the back or on an arm sleeve. Just something friggin' simple. I don't I don't know if people like graphics on the back anymore like i know i did that when i was younger i don't do it anymore now that i'm old mostly old uh this one i want to see more more views of like I, there's nothing here like what is that on the arm i don't know but that's that's awesome maybe more colors too like this could easily be on other color t-shirts description like this is some really generic stuff returns i would get rid of returns on all the single product pages because you have that down here so you don't need don't clutter up your product pages with returns or boring crap definitely put you know the stuff about the actual t-shirt and the sizing that's fine uh put in explanations like talk about your your design concept put in more photos of real life people that's what i want to see um that's what people want to see too uh, outerwear. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into all the products. I still think you can start cleaning up what you're offering. Uh, just because some of these, I, I mean, personally, I don't think that camo with that yellow script is strong compared to your other ones. This is pretty cool. I do like that yellow crown that you're using somewhere elsewhere. I don't know where I saw it, but I saw something and he had one of your photos and this guy was wearing a shirt. And at the top, it was like the collar was split and the yellow crown was like right at the tip of the collar. I don't know where that was. I wish I could find it because it looked really cool. And I like that concept of using the crown. Um, so, I, you know, we covered a lot of stuff here. Probably overwhelming. Take it or leave it. Um, but I think you got some really cool stuff. I hope, I hope some of my comments help you and give you ideas of what you can do to grow your brand and, and, and your fashion business. Um, I'm looking forward to really watching your, your product line grow and your collections. Talk more about your collections and when, you're, when you come out with new collections. So you said something about releases, biannual collections. So just say something about like, hey, you know, this is our spring line, this is our fall line or something like that. So we have a better idea. And we can grow that anticipation of when to see your next collection. Uh, that's what you can also use social media for. Just be like, hey, you know, like I'm working on the next collection. Here's a little snapshot from my phone. I'm not going to show you a whole lot, but start teasing people about the next collection. That's how you can start gathering email addresses as well and build that anticipation and have customers available to market to when it's time to publish your next collection. So I hope this is helpful. Massive UX. Um, Leave any comments, hit me up if you have more questions, and good luck.